Hello, and it's grilling season. I'm Carol Green, and I'm here with Compare Foods, showing you how to make a wonderful variation on a dish you're probably quite familiar with. Oh yeah, can you hear that sizzle? On the outside. And it's still beautiful and tender on the inside. Well, hello everyone. I'm here at Compare Foods. This is one of my most favorite stores to shop at. Compare has the most amazing array of ethnic foods. I find the most beautiful produce to make dishes which are Caribbean, Mexican, and Middle Eastern inspired. So come on, let me show you the great things that I find here. So today I'm going to make a dish that's a little different. I'm going to do a Middle Eastern inspired dish. It's kind of a concept a little bit like a taco. We're going to use a flatbread with a lebna, some beautiful marinated and grilled beef, and finish it off with a fresh and crunchy salad. This is one of my favorite right here, actually. This is verdelaga. You're not gonna find this in your regular grocery store, are you? Verdelaga is commonly known as purslane, and it's a little bit like a succulent leaf. It's very soft and crunchy, it's very delicate. I like to use it to finish dishes or to toss into a salad um, with your mixed greens. It's really a beautiful option. You won't find this in your regular grocery store. Some Easter egg radishes to add some nice crunch to our salad. And now I'm going to pick up some cucumber and some red pickle. That's going to give a wonderful crunch to the salad. I like to do a quick pickle with red onion because that you know vinegary part of a pickle I really love, but a quick pickle it's easy to do, you can use it right away. I can't wait to show you. So now we have everything we need in produce. We're going over to the meat section. Did you know that Compare has their own butchers? Their meat is sliced and packaged fresh every single day. So let's go see what I need over there. At Compare, you will find a huge variety of meat that's already sliced for you. The butchers do it fresh every single day. It's so convenient. You can use a top sirloin or a very thinly sliced chuck roast. You just want to be sure to use a meat that doesn't have too much marbling because this is going to cook quite quickly on the grill. When you come to Compare, you really don't want to miss the spice aisle. You're going to find some amazing deals down this aisle. Look at all these beautiful dried chilies. And really my personal favorite are these packaged spices. You can find the most amazing array, so be sure that you stock up because you can use these for multiple core recipes. In today's recipe, I'm going to need cumin. I really like this one, the anchoat, the, the spiced annatto. It has beautiful color and texture to dishes. And then this is one of my favorite chilies, the ch chili arbol molito. Mexican oregano. We'll just take a big bag of this because I use a lot of it. And then of course the whole cumin as well that you can grind yourself. So many wonderful things here to add spice and flavor to your dish. In the dairy section at Compare, you're going to find ingredients that you won't find anywhere else in town. And one of the most notable things is the Mexican crema. We have it here on both sides of the aisle. Look at that, so many different brands. Look at this one here. This is the Mexican crema. And it's like sour cream, but it's thicker, it's tangier, and this really is my preferred choice for sour cream nowadays. It's so gorgeous. In today's recipe, I'm going to make a lebna. A lebna is a yogurt sauce that's just been thickened and strained to remove the whey. You could use Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. I'm choosing this one because I prefer to go with a whole milk yogurt. It gives the final result just a beautiful thick creaminess. In today's recipe, I'm marinating the beef in pomegranate juice. I'm gonna reduce it down until it makes a beautiful syrup. And this really gives the dish a wonderful sweetness. For today's recipe, I'm going to go with this homestyle tortilla. It's nice and soft and fluffy and will be perfect to hold the shawarma meat. Oh, I can't wait to get cooking. Let's go. I know that you all love tacos, right? the meat, the sauces, everything laid onto a, onto a tortilla. It's just delicious. Today, I want to show you a Middle Eastern spin. We're going to take beef 
and marinate it in a pomegranate lime chili marinade. Ooh, delicious. I'm going to weave it on a skewer. We're going to grill it outside and I'm going to serve it alongside a lebna, which is a yogurt sauce with cilantro and a beautiful quick pickled salad. It's going to be delicious. Let's get started. Now, pomegranate is a very, very common ingredient used in Middle Eastern cooking. What you're going to do is take the pomegranate juice and reduce it down on the stove. Just put it in a pot on the stove and let it cook down till it's about one third of the original. And what you're going to end up with is this wonderful thick pomegranate type juice. So I like to do things, I like to do things directly into a Ziploc bag. It just makes it so easy. Let's go ahead and put the beef in there. So get started. Put your beef into the bag and let's layer in the marinade ingredients. We begin with the pomegranate juice. In it goes, how wonderful. Then the next extremely key ingredient is the lime. All right. I learned a trick many years ago about limes. Did you know that if you slice the limes down the side instead of in the middle, it's so much easier to squeeze the juice. So take the sides of the lime like that. And just look how much juice you're going to get out of the lime. It's just wonderful. So easy. Oh, I love lime. Lime just, the acid from the lime will help to start to break down the meat so you really don't want to marinate your meat too long. About an hour is a really, really perfect amount of time to marinate the beef. And you're going to need about a tablespoon of lime juice. That's all. There we go. One lime delivered. Sure did. And then I've already got some lime zest here that I prepared for you. The zest simply is the rind. And if you have a fine grater like this, you're just going to take off some of the zest. And there you have it. The other ingredients is some soy sauce. You can find this in the grocery section at Compare. Some olive oil. This is some sambal ulek, which is a really wonderful chili sauce, also in the grocery section at Compare. There's so many wonderful ingredients um, at, on the shelves at Compare. I love to just cruise around the grocery aisle and find out all the different spices and sauces and marinades. It's so inspiring. Um, it's a wonderful way to create different recipes. And then in the spice section, you'll find the bay leaf. Crumble up the bay leaf. And then your last key ingredient is ginger. The easiest way for, to work ginger is to cut off the knobby pieces I like to just um, cut away the skin from the outside. Wow, look how juicy this ginger is. Mm. Did you know that ginger is a very, very valuable anti-inflammatory food? And of course, it's really good for digestive upset. If you're not feeling well, make a hot tea and put a few slices of ginger in. It really will help your digestion. Then the last ingredient that I'm going to add is this amazing sugar the panela that I find at Compare. What is it? It's just pure cane juice that's not been processed and has been dried into these um, hard shapes. And you can just crumble some off or grate some off, but this gives your dish this wonderful caramelly molasses flavor. I really love the flavor of the panela. It's really like a dessert treat. And there you have it, just straight into the Ziploc bag, close up the bag, work your marinade around. Oh, this is going to be amazing. We have all the key ingredients here, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, hot. All the senses that are going to be so amazing to your taste buds. Pop this in the fridge, let it marinate about an hour. And I already have one that I've prepared for you. There we have our beef. It's been marinating for at least an hour. You don't want to marinate it too long because the lime juice is beginning to break down the beef and it will literally cook it. Okay, so we don't want beef ceviche. <laughs> so now we're going to take the beef from the marinade and I'm going to weave it onto the skewers. So take your beef and sort of concertina it like you would kind of pleat it, I guess. All right. And I find it easier to make 
a little stack of the beef. Wow, it's smelling amazing. It's so fragrant. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so now we can start to make our skewer. So you're going to need two skewers to stabilize this. And I like these flat kebab skewers. I find they're so much easier to grip onto the meat. Let's add some more. There we have it. Doesn't that look amazing? So that's going to go on the grill, just like that. A cool, crispy salad is a very important part of this dish. And something that I love to do is to quick pickle my onions. Why do I do this? I love to have onions in salad. Take your red onion, and what you want to do is slice it with the grain. You're not going to cut it across the grain because it can make it quite stringy. Don't slice it too thinly because you want them to have some crunch preserved. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned from a very famous chef, a Mexican chef um, named Brick Bayless. Take some boiling water and pour boiling water over the onions. And you're going to leave them literally for about 30 seconds and then you're going to strain them. And why do we do this? It takes the angry out of the onion. Do you know what I'm talking about when you're eating a salsa or a dish and the onion is just so super aggressive and a day or two later it's even worse? If you do this simple trick, it will really make the onion much more mellow and delicious while still being crispy. So you've drained your blanched onions and now we're going to do the spices. I'm using two simple ingredients here. I'm going to use cumin. This is the whole cumin. It's an extremely powerful herb, and especially this one at Compare, I find is really, really powerful. So you literally just want to pinch. And then we have the Mexican oregano. It's quite different from regular oregano. I find it's more licorice and much more complex in its depth of flavor. Wonderful. Just a little slightly bigger pinch, maybe about um, a quarter of a teaspoon of that. So at Compare, you will find all kinds of grinders. Um, this is my own one. Grind your spices. Just smells wonderful. Now I have one and a half cup of apple cider vinegar heating up. I'm going to pour the hot apple cider vinegar over the um, onion and again you're going to add a little bit of sweetness to balance the acidity of the vinegar. We're going to use this wonderful panela sugar again which is the raw cane sugar. So then you can jar this in a mason jar like this or any container that you like okay let it cool down pop it in the refrigerator it's good to eat within an hour it's even better the next day and it's wonderful added to this salad a lebna is a wonderful middle eastern yogurt sauce and what is it it's simply yogurt that's been strained to remove the whey you can use a greek yogurt or whole milk yogurt whichever you choose i prefer to use the whole yogurt variety because it's going to give you much, a much more fabulous, creamy, wonderful texture. You're going to need some cheesecloth or just any linen cloth will do and a strainer. Pop your tub of yogurt into the strainer. And allow it to strain for about at least an hour or two. Look at all of that liquid that comes out. And the liquid that's coming out we call whey. Place the lebna in the food processor. You could use a blender too, but just be sure not to grind it too fine because you want to have some good texture here. And now come the wonderful herbs and the seasonings. 
Cilantro. Oh, I love cilantro. It's a wonderful chelator, actually. It's very good to help the body to detoxify. We're going to put in a whole bunch of cilantro. Just the rough stems are chopped off. Mm -hmm. The surprise herb that we're going to put in here is mint. Give your mint a rough chop. Raw garlic is a lot like raw onions. They really can be quite aggressive and take over your palate. So what I like to prefer to do is to roast my garlic. Just take a whole head of garlic, wrap it loosely in foil, and pop it in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And it's so easy to just break apart the garlic and pop it out. Here we have some that I've already prepared. I'm going to take the garlic and give it uh, a rough smash. Wonderful. A little paprika. A little apple cider vinegar. And some olive oil. And of course, a touch of salt. That's it. You don't want to process it too long because we want to leave some of the herbs in little chunky pieces. And there we go, our lebna is ready. So now the lebna is done, let's head out to the grill and cook the kebab. I have my grill nice and hot. I'm going to just soak a paper towel and just give the grill a quick rub with a little of the oil. And this great big beautiful kebab. Oh yeah, can you hear that sizzle? This is going to be fantastic. This is going to cook so fast because it's such a lean cut of beef and sliced so thin, about 20 minutes total. You're gonna to move it around once or twice to make sure that you, know, you don't burn it in any areas. Summer grilled food with those charred pieces, we all love it, don't we? But I must warn you that that's actually quite dangerous to eat. Be sure that you do not cook your meat too much on the grill don't burn it too much, okay? It's potentially carcinogenic. Mm, this is smelling amazing. So you can brush the meat with a little more oil, if you wish, because it's a very, very, very lean cut, this. And also, just a little bit more salt. We're just going to sprinkle on a tiny bit more salt, because you know, you really should salt your meat properly. Let's flip this around. This is just about ready. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be amazing, guys. So you're judging this pretty much as you would a steak. You still want it to have a little bit of, gi of give. It's nice and caramelized around the edges without being burnt. This is going to be fantastic. All right, this meat is done. Let's head inside. Be sure to put your cooked meat onto a clean plate. You don't want to mix raw marinade and cooked ingredient. Look how beautiful that is, guys. We're going to go inside and we're going to slice it real thin now and get ready for our delicious, delicious dish. Let's go. Now that the meat is cooked, we're going to finish our salad, slice the meat and put it all together. I can't wait to tuck into this. I really like to put together cool, crunchy components, especially it's so hot right now in the summer. We need refreshing things to wake up the palate. This is just an ordinary cucumber that we've removed the core and cut it into quarters. Radish is going to give you that nice bitter bite. And here we have our quick pickled red onions. You can add as many as you like. I really love these. Add them in with a little of the juice, a little olive oil, season with a little salt, and give it a toss. Let's slice the meat. So you can see what I've created. It's the concept of a gyro, but it's sort of like a kebab 
So it's sort of a crossover between the two. Let's slice it as thinly as we can. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have the caramelization on the outside and it's still beautiful and tender on the inside. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, this looks amazing. Beautiful. There we have it. So we have our salad. Let's pop some in this little bowl for over here. You can serve this dish with pita breads with naan breads or with the typical tortilla. Any of these items will work. I'm gonna show you two ways, with a pita bread and with a tortilla. Warm your tortilla as you would in a skillet. I really think that this process of warming the tortilla is really important because what it does, it helps the flours to be properly toasted and just adds another dimension of flavor. When you cut the pita in half, you have these beautiful little pockets. Isn't that fun? A little meat. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. A little salad. A little of the herb lebna. A little more salad. And then we're going to finish it off with our, this is purslane, vidalango. It's a very unusual uh, green that you can find at Comperia. I typically don't find it anywhere else and a little watercress. Look how adorable is that? So cute. Doesn't this look wonderful, guys? So delicious. Watercress. Watercress is another great de detoxifying green. You should try to eat it as much as possible. So you can serve it like that in a pita bread, or we can also serve it like this on a tortilla. Begin with a lebna. A nice, generous amount of lebna. Some of the meat. A little of the salad. And again, finish off with your purslane verdelago, as it's known at Compare. And then if you like, you can add a couple of slices of avocado, which give you that beautiful, rich creaminess. And a pinch of salt. Voila. And there we have it. It's a pomegranate lime schwabob with a herb lebna and a beautiful, cool, crunchy salad. We have it two ways on a tortilla or in a pita. How amazing is that? Buon provecho.